provide better services for competitive players, the default setting of this product does not include turbo, remap, and macro functions. If players need these functions, you can download another firmware version from the download on the Brook official website. Please note that if you want to participate in tournaments, remember to update the version without these functions. Next, we will introduce the settings for Turbo, Remap and Mac functions. Step 1. Press Share and PS buttons at the same time. The light will display red indicating that Turbo setting mode has been entered. Step 2. Press and hold the Share button, then press the button you want to set as Turbo. For example, setting triangle, square, circle, and X as turbo. These buttons on the screen can be set as turbo keys. Step 3. Press option to save settings. Step 4. Exit the turbo setting mode by pressing the PS key button. The red light on the Wingman FGC will turn off. You can also adjust the frequency of turbo. The default value upon factory shipment is 10 rapid presses per second. There are 5 options available for you to choose from, including 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25 rapid presses per second. Step 1. Press share and PS key buttons at the same time, the light will display red indicating that turbo setting mode has been entered. To increase the frequency, press share and the up arrow button at the same time, and the flashing frequency of the light will increase. To decrease the frequency, press share and the down arrow button at the same time, and the flashing frequency of the light will decrease. Step 3. Press option to save settings. Step 4. Exit the turbo setting mode by pressing the PS button. The red light on the Wingman FGC will turn off. Next, we will explain how to cancel the turbo setting. Step 1. Press share and PS key buttons at the same time, the light will display red indicating that turbo setting mode has been entered. Press share and option at the same time to clear all turbo settings. Exit the turbo setting mode by pressing the PS button. The red light on the Wingman FGC will turn off. Next, we will introduce how to set up remap. Step 1. Press Option and PS key buttons simultaneously to enter the remap setting mode, and the LED light will turn red to indicate that you have entered the remap setting mode. Step 2. Choose the button you want to remap. For example, if you want to convert the triangle button to the circle button, press and release the triangle button first, then press the share and circle buttons together. Step 3. Press Option to save settings. Step 4. Exit the remap setting mode by pressing the PS key button. The red light on the Wingman FGC will turn off. You can also set up remap combo keys. Step 1. Press option and PS key buttons simultaneously to enter the remap setting mode, and the LED light will turn red to indicate that you have entered the remap setting mode. Step 2. For example, if you want to set the triangle button as a combination of square and X, Press the triangle button first, and then simultaneously press share and square X. Step 3. Press option to save settings. Step 4. Exit the remap setting mode by pressing the PS key button. The red light on the Wingman FGC will turn off. Next, we will explain how to cancel the remap setting. Step 1. Press option and PS key buttons simultaneously to enter the remap setting mode and the LED light will turn red to indicate that you have entered the remap setting mode. Step 2. Press option and share at the same time to clear all remap settings. Step 3. Exit the remap setting mode by pressing the PS key button. The red light on the Wingman FGC will turn off. Next, we will introduce how to set up macro. Step 1. Press Share, Option and PS key at the same time to enter Macro Setting Mode. The LED will show purple, indicating that Macro Setting Mode has been entered. Step 2. For example, recording L1 with the combination of Down, Right, Down, Right and Circle. Hold down the Share button first, then press the Macro key you want to set, release all keys when the red light appears, and start recording your Macro Settings.
Step 3. Press and hold the option button for about 1 to 2 seconds to save. Step 4. Press and hold the PS key for about 1 to 2 seconds until the blue light appears, indicating that the setting mode has been exited. Next, we will explain how to cancel the macro setting. Step 1. Press Share, Option and PS key at the same time to enter macro setting mode. The LED will show purple, indicating that macro setting mode has been entered. Step 2. Press Share and Option at the same time to clear all macro settings. Step 3. Exit the macro setting mode by pressing the PS button. The red light on the Wingman FGC will turn off. Hope this video helps you understand more in using Wingman FGC. Thank you so much for choosing Brook. See you next time.